Hey there. So I see a question asked a lot about the F48 and uh, some confusion around how to deal with the pixels, how to deal with the sliders, things like that. Here's a quick little FYI. I don't know. Uh, I got a little F48 here. Uh, we got our uh, our ports. Uh, it's important to note that uh, they're arranged uh, horizontally here. So we've got ports one through four, five through what is it, seven. Hell if I know, I can't do math. Eight. What am I thinking? Starting from zero. Uh, anyway, uh, if you log into the interface, you're going to configure your uh, uh, your strings. You're going to try to plan your show. You're going to set everything up. Uh, one of the things that you have in the upper right-hand corner of your port configuration is that little max expansion, max nodes slider. Uh, ultimately, what that means is that uh, it gives you the flexibility to control uh, probably the just programming 32-bit values or limits or I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, what really does matter, though, is uh, how do you get your uh, how do you get your configuration? Just some kind of FYI to figure it out. Well, let's take the number 340. 340 divided by 3 uh, gives us the ability to have 16320 pixels uh, by 48 ports. So what do we mean by a port? So over here on our distribution board, our distribution board, we have four ports. Four ports by 12 equals 48 ports total, hence the F48. Uh, but that's the maximum capacity right here. If we were to fill all this up, uh, buy a whole lot of uh, distribution boards, put them all over the place, uh, we would be able to spread the 16,320 pixels uh, across our yard, uh, filling up an entire F48. Let's say, though, uh, that's not what you want to do. Uh, let's say you want to take a look at uh, making strings of 1,022. Uh, so we choose 1,022 because it's the maximum amount our slider will go. It leaves us with two additional bulbs. So if we look at the F48, uh, what we have is these three sliders represent each one of these banks here. Uh, so if we set this to 1022 or we do something like this, right, where we slide it around. So it says 1022 and then you see the number one twice. Uh, what we have here is this. Essentially here we have a one node uh by eight here, uh, so that's pretty useless, kind of cuts all these things uh, down to not being used. Uh, but we have four ports here where we can do 1022 uh, on each one of these distribution boards. Uh, at that point, uh, we have 16. Uh, that gives us uh, a little bit over our maximum, uh, right? We got some minus some channels here. I'm sure there's some memory overhead. Uh, again, I uh, beyond the scope of this. Uh, but what this would allow you to do is use four distribution boards uh, to control 1000. 22 LED modules. Uh, the obviously power injection and stuff has to be taken care of off board, but just from a data perspective, you'd be able to run data out and, and have that for a total of 16 strings uh, connected to four different distribution boards. I uh, hope that's helpful. I uh, hope it kind of explains some things. I hope I got it right because I'm just kind of shooting from the hip based on uh, my understanding. Uh, from there is where you would then go into your port configuration. You adjust your uh, ports. You have 48 ports listed down the left-hand side of the string configuration. Uh, you would then uh, take uh, the universes, divide them up so you have enough channels uh, to provide information to uh, the nodes themselves. Uh, and that stuff should all be self-explanatory or basically beyond the uh, scope of what I'm going for here. This is primarily around the F48, uh, explaining this slider, uh, explaining the max pixels, explaining how the distribution ports work uh, to try to hopefully help some of you out. Rock on. Merry Christmas.